we have had overnight and again this morning some very serious discussions uh, at a cabinet level and the public health team have provided us with some updated advice. So I want to take you through some important decisions that have been made this morning and they will relate to literally hundreds of thousands of uh, Victorians. They're not about stopping people going to work, they're about making sure that we can open up. They're about making sure that people can go to work, that people can be safe and that we can defend and deliver our roadmap for opening. That's what the national plan is all about. These steps uh, are not taken lightly, but they are critically important. So first of all, uh, I can announce that by Friday the 15th of October, every single authorised worker that is on that authorised worker list whether they be in Melbourne or in regional Victoria, will need to have had at least one dose of a COVID-19 vaccine. That is, if they want to continue working. The good news is that many, many of those around 1 million to 1.25 million authorised workers will already have had a first dose. A bunch of them will have had two doses. This is about making sure that we go that extra mile to protect the roadmap to opening to protect the 26th of October or perhaps even a few days earlier and to make sure that we can open, be free and not have our health system overwhelmed with patients who are completely avoidable.